What's up, writers? It is a new streaming movie review, and I'm going to be talking about Bombshell. Bombshell came out this past Christmas and stars Nicole Kidman, uh, Charlie Theron, Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie, and John Lithgow, and is directed by Jay Roach. Um, before we get into any of the details before, don't forget to subscribe to ride home reviews on your favorite podcasting platform, starting with Apple podcasts, Google podcasts, Spotify, wherever you like to listen to podcasts, as well as subscribe on YouTube, as well as like us on Facebook and follow on Instagram. Now, what is this movie about? Well, it's based on a true story as of, uh, the downfall of Roger Ailes, who is the head of programming at Fox News. Um, this took place in 2016. And uh, so it's just about the backstory of how that all came about and who was involved. So what did I like about this film? Well, first of all, um, I really liked... Uh, I really liked uh, the look and feel of the whole newsroom situation. I really liked how the first act played out, how it was um, almost like a, a, a documentary style where the characters are talking to the camera or they're voicing over some parts and you're, you're, you're getting the whole lay of the land almost literally when they're going through uh the, the Fox studios and building and all that's, that is entailed, how it, how it is structured, what is the hierarchy, all this stuff going on. And you're being introduced to the main players, which includes Charlie Theron as Megan Kelly and Nicole Kidman as, uh, uh, can't remember the character's name right offhand, Gretchen something. And, um, and, so I really enjoyed how the first act, like I said, set everything up. Um, I really liked the makeup job that they did on John Lithgow as Roger Ailes. He did a marvelous job at making him look like this man. And, and of course, John Lithgow uh, sealed it, as well as Charlize Theron really looking like Megyn Kelly and sounding like her as well. I thought that that was really, really... Uh, awesome in that regard too. Um, and it's just had a spectacular, uh, they, they casted well, they casted well for this, including the supporting players. Um, uh, and so, so I thought that the acting in this was really good. It was really solid. Everybody landed, um, the way they were supposed to, uh, hit their marks and, you weren't disappointed with the performances at all. Now to get into what I didn't like them about the movie after the first act, uh, the, the story just to me just kind of fell apart. It, it the pacing was off. Uh, it didn't grab you. Um, you just felt like there was parts that were missing and it just was, yeah, it just didn't deliver. Not only that, but I'm going to go back to talking about the cast. The cast is so good. And you look at the supporting players that were in there as well, like Allison Janney um, and uh, uh, Kate McKinnon. Um, none of the folks that are in this, in this uh, movie, aside from John Lithgow, had a real defining moment, one that you'll really remember. And I was really disappointed in the fact that you have this cast and you're not giving them the words and the scenery to really work with and play with. And it was kind of disappointing in that regard. I was just like, why are we watching this? It just really, um, and you know, the drama just wasn't there either. It just felt like they were trying to downplay it. And I'm like, this, this is what this whole film is about. And you feel like you're feel like it's being swept under the rug. There wasn't enough, um, stuff. There was a few, a couple scenes where John Lithgow was just 
absolutely awful. And he was an awful human being, and he was supposed to be, but I just didn't. I don't. I don't feel like they nailed it. I don't feel like they gave enough of the characters, gave enough to the characters to work with and to develop their feelings. It just felt like a lot of non sequiturs that just were mashed together, especially when it came beyond the first act into the second and especially the third, the third just didn't really give us, give me what I wanted. And so, but it looked good. Um, like I said, the cast was good and the editing was good. Um, the technically this, this movie should have been successful. It was all about the development of this and trying to appease the audience. And it didn't work. I just didn't think it worked. So what to watch for in this film. I really like the editing work, especially in the first act again, um, where you really, where they mashed up used footage or you are, or, or uh, foot, footage and people in, in that, uh, in that time frame on those programs and inserted the actresses or actors into the, into those scenes. They just did a marvelous seamless job at trying to um, convey uh, the actors in those, in those situations and recreating those with the same people, but just taking the, the original person out and putting the actor. I thought that was neat. So, so, Check that out. That was really cool. So uh, for me, I give this. Uh, actually, I gotta give this a no. Um, I don't recommend this. You can see this on uh, it's streaming right now on uh, Apple TV and some other um, or iTunes. So you can watch that if you want to. I mean, don't get me wrong. The cast performed. I just didn't think that they were given, aside from John Lithgow, uh, enough to work with. So, and, uh, so I just felt the story just really lacked. So there you go. I was trying to give it a meh cause it was somewhat okay. There's a lot of things about it, but I don't recommend it. So it's a no from me. It's just too bad because I really like these actresses and I really like the performance, you know, these actors. So that's my review. So. Don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform. Again, we're all, I'm also on YouTube as well as Facebook and Instagram. So subscribe all there. And until next time, watch something cool. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. See you next week.